Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm at the Riften Fishing Shack today. This is a mod that I've had before a couple of games ago. And it's such a sweet little place. We are just outside of Honeyside at the lake at Riften. So there's my Honeyside. Well, it's not mine yet. I haven't got that far. And there's my Clockwork Terminus. And so you can see, look at that. It's just the most lovely location, don't you think? Beautiful. And if you like this style of home, and this is quite an, well, it's not ancient, but it's quite an old mod. Um, 2016 for SE. Um, but if you like this style of building, there are a couple of others very similar to it. There's Morth uh, Mentha's Morthal Treehouse, and Cryman and Lyran did Bradane Chaw, which is at Riverwood. Well, he's a bit stuck, isn't he? <laughs> she, even. <laughs> Eek. So you can see it's very simple. It is a fishing shack. All there is on the outside here is the wood chopping block. There's no smithy with this place. You'll need to go into town for that. But it is um, an open world, no low door home. You can fast travel here straight away and it's free. And to get the key, it's here in this satchel. And as you can see, you can activate the lanterns, which is extremely cool. I always appreciate that. Before we go in, I'll just show you the outside. Oh, the views. Do you know what? One of the smallest mods, but one of the most enjoyable that I've seen lately is that Ducks and Swans mod. It's so lovely to see them just bobbing about on the lakes and waters. So here you've got your alchemy lab. Just a little pestle and mortar and another light. Tiny little veg garden. And a tanning rack and storage. Wow. And all your fishing accoutrements. And somewhere to sit out. And just admire the view, which is... I didn't actually clear the weather up this time. This is how I found it when I got here, which it never normally is. It's usually... Foggy as heck around here. So look at those windows though, you can see right inside. Just gorgeous. And around that fourth side there's really nothing at all there. Wow, my mouse mat is super... I think it might need cleaning, sorry, it's a bit juddery. So you've got a nice welcoming mat to wipe your feet and then you're into the tiny little home which small though it may be i think it's perfectly formed what a fabulous little getaway especially if you're into you know fishing which <laughs> i can't say i am not in real life or in my game but hey Nice decoration, don't you think? Look at those mushrooms up there. That is so cool. What I love about this is the interactive blinds. That is awesome. So you do get some privacy. You can also lock the door, by the way, um, if you click on the key in your inventory. Almost a shame to cut out that lovely view, though. But what a perfect little cabin, don't you think? This is just so lovely. Who wouldn't want one in real life? So there's a tiny little enchanting desk. Little candle. Storage and knapsack. And your bed, look how charming that is. Even with a tiny stuffed bear. And then somewhere for Inigo to sleep as well. So, yeah, perfect ticks all my boxes what do you think dude and because I've been asked like a million times about his armor it's called armor of intrigue I think I featured it in one of my um, li uh, life enhancing mod videos a, a while ago it's very nice I'm wearing the uh, what's, what's it called dragonfly robes not sure about the uh, the hood actually i think i might only because it's kind of bulbous at the bottom i've got a bit of a mixture going on with my gear at the moment i might go back to a circlet helm anywho i digress i'm sorry 
And one more thing, by the way, because I know this will probably be asked as well, is the mountain flowers. This was recommended to me by uh, one of my viewers as well. And aren't they lovely? They look just like columbines. They're super pretty. They're Cathedral 3D mountain flowers, I think they were called. I'll try and remember to leave the link for that as well. All right, that's it. That's the whole of the home. Just a tiny short video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do let me know what you think about it in the comments and I'll see you soon for the next I one. I love it here. <laughs> Bye for now.